Hi, my name is Maximilian Giel. I'm an outdoor and adventure photographer and today I want to talk about this lens. That's the Canon R800 mm f11 prime lens, um, which is a lens from the cheaper RF um, lens lenses from Canon. Um, before we jump into the video, Canon gave me this lens and also the camera for a test for two weeks. It's not that sponsored and it didn't tell me to make this video, but I thought it might be a little bit interesting to talk a little bit of the, about the lens while I've been testing it for two weeks now um, and my thoughts about it and if you should buy it or not or if there are other options. So first of all, um, right now you see it in the, in the mount or in the mode where you use it. If you transport it, you can shrink this actually down. Um, also do the lens hood the other way around. And then you have this kind of size when you transport it in your backpack. It comes in with a weight of 1200 grams, which is pretty good for 800 millimeters. And you don't have too much controls. So you have an internal stabilizer, autofocus, manual focus, and for sure, um, the focus range um, switch where you can think you have also the, the quick um, ring where you can actually say what you want to have on this ring like the ISO, the white balance or whatever. Um, yeah, and the focus ring. That's basically it, what you have on this lens. Um, it has a really big diameter up there. It's 95 millimeters. So if you want to work with filters, this might be a little bit pricey and maybe not that easy to, to find some filters for this kind of size. And yeah, that's about the specs. Everything else I think you can just read out. What you really should know and what you think should think about before you buy it is that it's a fixed f-stop at f11 and so you can't change it so if you want to shoot like at dark and do some long exposure and doing the f-stop like up what i usually do when i don't have a filter with me this won't be happen with this one because it's a fixed one and that's that's something you should know um, what you can use it for yeah it's perfect to shoot wildlife like behind me. Um, took some nice images from the birds, which I'll show you now. And also for shooting like planes or helicopters over there. And for sure, you can also shoot really cool landscapes with this one. And yeah, it's, it's a good option if you're small on a budget and you just want to have a massive focal length. Maybe you go on a safari in Africa or wherever. Right now, probably not due to Corona, but at one day, probably we'll be, we will be able to travel again. So then it might be an option. So for this kind of things, it's a really, really cool lens. And I totally can recommend it for this. But I think there are um, some things that you should know. Well, you should definitely have a camera with an internal image stabilization, so-called IBIS, um, which means you should have an R5 like this one or an R6 um, because then you really can shoot a lot of things out of the hand. For example, I shot the moon out of the hand straight out of my window at my home, which I'll show you now, and it's tech sharp. With this lens, it's perfect. Um, but I totally recommend to have an R5 or an R6 to use this lens properly. Um, next thing, um, I also got the RF100 to 500 um, <clears throat> and I've been using actually the RF100 to 500 way more than this one. Um, and to be honest, my real recommendation, if you have the money and spend 3000 bucks on a lens, 
I definitely recommend to buy the RF100 to 500 because if you have an R5 and you crop in, you still have probably 20 megapixels, you got nearly the same focal lengths like 760 or whatever and yeah you're more flexible than with this lens it comes in with a smaller package so that's my probably my recommendation um, if you would ask me um, but if you want to go on a safari or whatever as i said this lens is for you it's fairly cheap with 800 euros and it's really light for what it does so yeah I think that's it what I can say about this lens um, I'll show you now some images I took here and if you have any questions about the lens just leave it down in the comments below and before we end this video I just want to put some facts about this lens on it what you should consider big diameter of the of the circular so this might be a problem with filters fixed f-stop ff11 really really lightweight with 1200 grams super price value 800 euros for 800 millimeters so that's it for me from this video if you like the video just hit the like button and if you haven't already subscribe to this channel there will be much more about um, techniques and stuff and um, things I'm testing and for sure a lot of mountaineering as you know and uh, I'm coming up with the next project is the 21 in 21 just saying um, climbing uh, 21 4,000 meter peaks this year this is my project um, so if you subscribe to this channel I'll keep you posted and I promise you it's definitely worth the watch and so I say thank you for watching and as I said before if you subscribe I'll see you in the next video